Dive Dive is ready for some aquatic based action with today's game, Bimini Run for your Sega Genesis. And if you stare at the artwork long enough, you will hear the Miami Vice theme song in your head. Do you hear it? Let's go ahead and take Bimini Run. Let's pop it in my Sega Genesis and see how it holds up today. Let's go to the game. Bimini Run was published by New Vision Entertainment and ended up being the only video game they released. It carries a copyright year of 1990, although it may not have been released until early 1991. The manual opens with the following. Bimini Run, the story. The sun-drenched tropics with islands flung like emeralds throughout the aqua sea. Trade winds cool this tropical paradise. Palm fringed beaches beckon. It is a place of romance and intrigue. Dark secrets and danger lurk beneath ideas skies to succeed here you must be strong and swift and smart like your hero Kenji Ohara the wealthy self-made adventurer you like fast cars fast boats and fast women not necessarily in that order he must mean women like Jackie Joyner Kersey right you get your kicks from excitement and that's just what you get dr. Orca dreaded international master of destruction has kidnapped your twin sister and closest confidant Kim flanked by an armada of killer boats and helicopters Helicopters, they're hidden somewhere in a maze of islands. So take the helm of your high speed powerboat, the Banshee. With the help of your devoted friend Luca, you must rescue Kim and squelch Orca's plot to destroy the world with BAM technology. Will Luca's markmanship and your skill at the helm be enough to cut through the swarm of powerful offshore performance boats, choppers, and island warheads? Chart screens and vital messages help you stay on target, but only a mermaid can get you through the fantastical mire of the Bimini Zone. Prepare yourself, this is no joyride. You'll need every bit of skill and cunning you have, and something more, luck, because nothing is quite as it seems in the Bimini Zone. Bimini Run is a behind-the-back boat combat game for one or two players co-op. In the two-player mode, one player drives while the other fires and aims the weapons. From the options menu, you can select one of three difficulties, adjust your number of lives, select the number of players, customize the controls, and start a demo mode. For the default controls, left and right steers, up and down changes your speed, A fires your bazooka at land targets, the longer you hold it down before releasing, the farther it will go, the B button fires at lower targets on the water, and the C button fires at targets in the air. In the single player mode, your basic weapons will automatically lock onto targets while your bazooka will shoot straight ahead. In the two player mode, the second player uses the D-pad to aim the weapons. The game plays a bit like the Desert Strike series where you need to complete various objectives in each mission in order to advance. The objectives can range from tailing an enemy yacht, blowing up radar stations on islands, and even escorting a mermaid. Pressing start brings you to the control panel. At the bottom, you can switch between your control panel where you can receive messages and see various stats, look at two maps, one more zoomed in than the other, and turn on or off the music. You lose a life if you run aground, run out of fuel, which you cannot refuel, are shot or crash into an enemy. On the far bottom right, you can see your heading, your fuel, and the water depth via a vertical roll of circles with red dots warning you that you might run aground soon. If you lose all of your lives, you can use a limited number of continues, although continuing resets your score. You get points for defeating enemies and for remaining fuel when you complete missions. When you complete a mission, it seems you also get an extra life. The game has a high score table that is erased when you turn off the system. The game has six missions in total, beat them all and you win the game. And spoiler alert, the manual actually shows a screenshot of the ending. Shame, shame, everybody knows your name. Graphically speaking, this is a decent looking game with some especially nice shark fins and weather changes. However, there is a problem with the targets you need to blow up on islands, especially the towers. They often pop up at the last second, not giving you a lot of time to aim before running aground. The music and sounds are okay, I especially like the sound of the helicopters, but you get a lot of messages and whenever you get a message, the game says, Kenji, come in. This digitized voice sample is fine, but the problem is that you hear it so much, you'll wish you can turn it off, which you cannot. Even if you turn off the music, it's still there. Family friendly wise, the game would most likely get an E for everyone rating it for lease today. Currently at PriceTrying.com, the game has a value of $11 loose, $25 complete, and $52 new. So what did I think of Bemini Run? It's definitely not perfect. It can be frustrating to hit island targets thanks to the pop-up. Sometimes enemy fire seems to hit you out of nowhere, and the Kenji come in voice just doesn't stop. But with that being said, I actually had fun with the game. 
it was fun driving around a boat blasting enemies. I like that in a two player game you actually have to work together. And I thought the challenge was fitting especially considering you can adjust the difficulty and number of lives. It's no must buy title, but I found it to be a refreshing change of pace and I could easily play this one again in the future. So where am I going to rank Bimini Run? This one's going to my top 15. I do like Pitfall more at 13, but I'm willing to put this over the recently reviewed Slime World at 14. So out of the 35 games I'm now ranked for the Sega Genesis, Bimini Run is blowing up helicopters and sharks at the 14 position. Bimini Run isn't perfect and may not be for everyone, but it does offer a unique experience for your Sega Genesis that you might want to try out. But that's just my opinion, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Also please like, share, and subscribe, follow me both on the Facebook and the Twitter. Check out some of my many other videos and sign up at patreon.com slash gamer just like Greg H did, to support the show and gain access to exclusive perks. Thank you for giving me a little part of your day and I look forward to seeing you next time on the next episode of the No Swear Gamer. Take care and remember, Kenji, come in. Kenji, come in.